Hey, good morning everybody. Happy Saturday to you. Starting off the weekend. I slept in. I meant to start this at like 10 a.m. But yeah, I was up late. Yesterday's stream uh, went longer than I expected and then I still wanted to do some stuff after. So, uh, a little tired, but we're trying this again. Last time my webcam froze up somewhere around halfway through. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're starting from the from uh from the scratch from the beginning got a little got a little coffee so that'll get me through and then we'll just let's uh yeah we'll go with somewhere in the middle and I'm just gonna go straight through, you know? Not necessarily speed run, because I can't guarantee I'm gonna do that well, but I'm just gonna be playing the dang game as good as I can. Getting through it as quick as I can. Estimates around six hours with breaks, but we'll see how it goes. Oh geez, they got an emerald. That's not good for me. Wow. 
I like the magician one. As VDG said, rule of thumb, magicians are always evil. My goodness. You know, full credit to the, the team that worked on this. This is so gorgeous. Look at the coins. Look at those coins turning. It's like, it's not necessary for them to be so smooth, but dang nabbit, they sure are. Uh, yeah, I'm not going for bonus stages. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's, it's part of the experience or whatever, but last time it's like, it just took a lot longer and I couldn't get the most of the time anyway. So I'm just going straight. Little kid version, you know? You know how as a kid you didn't do, you didn't know about any of the stuff, so you just did it as good as you could. Oh my god. Oh, I should be dead. That was so unsafe. I cannot believe that worked out for me. Uh, we'll go for this. If, if it's one of these big rings literally right in front of my friggin' face, I'll go for it, but otherwise, yeah, I'm just. I'm not gonna seek them out. I'm not gonna stop to go through the rings or whatever. So, just keep that in mind. We're, do we're doing casual, any percent. You know, marathon mode, so we're gonna play through the whole game till the end boss, and I'm sure there's like a secret boss if you get the whole thing. I don't care. Not today. Especially considering this is my second attempt at this marathon. Yeah, I haven't had technical difficulties. I think my first marathon, which was Hat in Time, I think that was my first marathon. Uh, I also had like some technical issues, just just like skippage. You know, I don't have the best. I, I'm just streaming from a MacBook, so my rendering is not super strong. Wow. Yeah, come out, come out, get back here, get back here. Hey, I got it. Just in the nick of time. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go for emeralds if I run into one of those rings, but I'm not gonna like, we're not 100%, buddy, we're doing marathon. Marathon mode. I know, is that what marathon means? I feel a little foolish because I'm not super keyed into all the streamer lingo and stuff, so I would call playing a whole game in one sitting a marathon. But maybe it means marathon more like TV? How, uh, how a TV marathon is like a bunch of stuff. They also, they have reruns on Twitch. I don't know how those work. I got a notification that they're working different now, and I'm like, I didn't even know they were a thing. I mean, I didn't think they were an automatic thing, frankly. I figured it was just like a, you know, people playing a recording of their stream. I didn't think it was like Twitch specifically had a setting for it. Thanks, Tails. What a friend that Tails the Fox. music a little more down. I think it's kind of it's a little loud. Granted, I have it set so that when I talk it uh, turns it down, but y'all let me know. As always. And I will adjust. Been using OBS for a couple of years. Although I used um, slobs for a while in there and then they, they were total jerks. And then Pokimane was like, I'm gonna stop using you. And they were like, oh, never mind." And it's like, you guys couldn't even stick to your guns. Wow. Just, what's slime bags? <sighs> Whatever. They didn't even give us anything especially good. OBS Live works just fine. And it doesn't have to be friggin' scumbags about it. Whoa! Ooh, that's good flow. That's, I think, the biggest thing. The most important thing in a Sonic game is the flow. Like, does it feel like I'm just zipping along without any effort? 
like Sanic the Hedgehog. Ugh, it's one of those guys. One of those curly chameleon fellas. Alright, another boss. Whoa. Watch out. Wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I'm gonna need some rings. Thank you. Just kinda kinda. I always kind of brute force it with the bosses. I know there's probably a smarter way to do it, but it's like, if they, if they get done, then they get done, you know? Yeah, there we go. See? It was sloppy, but it worked. Come down here. Get a little closer. Oh, uh, Tails got it, but I guess that doesn't count. Birds and bunnies, baby. We saved them. As usual. Oh, we're going down to hole. Okay. It has been about a month since I played this last, so I forgot. Gosh, these animations, man. This pixel art. Ooh. Looks so good. That's the big thing, is this is just a total love letter to uh, classic Sonic by fans. Like, it's fan- it's basically fans who learned how to do amazing retro game stuff. Inspired by Sonic. And then they were like, hey, you guys want to make an actual Sonic? And they're like, yes. And so they did. And it's incredible. I- 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 you know. You can say what you want about- You can say what you want about classic Sonic, classic Sonic design. You know, there's there's things here and there. I've gone gone off about it on streams before, but oh, okay, we're safe, we're safe. Hey, another one of these. Um, but yeah, it's like they love Sonic and they made made it known through the game and I cannot deny it is impressive I like I like this too that we have a totally unique new sonic bonus stage like this wasn't in any of the other ones as far as I can tell uh, I think the game did the game grumps play Sonic mania they're playing Sonic generations now because they're working through, you know, all of them. Sonic Generations being the one that everybody's like, oh my god, Sonic Generations this is a good one. In terms of Sonic, because it's like classic Sonic and 3D Sonic. It's like, it looks like it's pretty heavily polished and like, you know, actually finished. I think that's the big problem with a lot of Sonic games is that they just rush them. And it's so bizarre to me that they do that. Like, you guys are... You know, your grasp on the market is very tenuous. You're not even, like, a console publisher anymore. Um, and yet, they keep... just crapping out 3D Sonics. Like, it's... Like, they have room to do it. And, like, yeah, I can guarantee Sonic is gonna be around forever, you know? He... They were able to find it. By Sonic 3, they were able to get uh get a hold of the market in a way that is pretty much timeless. Oh, damn, I couldn't even see where he was at. You know. But then again, so, like uh Bubsy, right? Nobody liked Bubsy. Very few people even played Bubsy. But they put out two new Bubsy games and they did okay. I think. I mean, okay, I never heard anybody talk about them, but they put out two. So I'm guessing that the first one people at least enjoyed as a novelty. I don't know. I ain't played it, but I kind of want to. I think I think Bubsy is a cute idea. It's just one of those situations where the people making it were more focused on trying to make a brand and make a, a character than particularly make a good game. In Console Wars, which is about, you know, Sega versus Nintendo, that classic, 
grade school, schoolyard, like, competition. Um, Tom Kalinske, who was the president of Sega of America when Sonic was released, talks about how even when he worked in Mattel, even when he worked at, like, Tiger, um, you know, Tiger Electronics, uh, even when he worked at, I think, General Mills, you know, it's a story. You gotta, the story needs to come first, you know? Like, that's how they were able to sell their concept of Sonic versus the original concept, which was absolutely buck wild. I mean, you guys can read the book, and I would highly recommend reading the book. It's very fun. Or, uh, there's a documentary if you don't want to read a whole book. And I, I, I haven't watched the documentary yet because I still haven't finished the book. I keep putting it aside in the interest of uh, reading some other fiction stuff or whatever. Don't worry, don't worry. We're good, we're good. Ah, there we go. It's interesting. These all feel like remix levels because there's clearly still parts that are direct, directly inspired by... <laughs> the original Chemical Plant Zone, but there's other parts that are clearly, like, totally fresh ideas. Wow. Get some coins. Hey, no, no. Let me go. Let me go. Eat those bumblebees. All they do is hold you back. Or I guess they're not bumblebees. They're just, like, bumblebee colored. That's caution. There we go. There we go. Boss time. Careful now. Careful now. Don't let him get you. Don't let him get you. Oof. Yeah, he got me. It's all right. As long as you hang on to some amount of coins. Ah, single cycle. Nice. Let's just let's do this for a little bit of fun. Just for a minute. Yeah, ah. That's alright. I'm probably gonna go through till one for this first chunk before my first break. Just cause I started You know, I started later. And I just wanna set it up so that it's still a top of the hour thing. See, yeah, stuff like this, like, the original game didn't do stuff like this because they were just, like, Chemical Plant was just an aesthetic. They didn't actually think of, like, what are, you know, for, for the most part, they didn't think of a ton of, like, what are interesting mechanics. They thought of, like, there's goo that can drown you, so it's effectively just water. So who even cares? And there's, uh... Pipes, I guess, but that's like, that's barely anything. These guys thought, like, what about goo of different viscosities that can bounce you around? What about a little goo platform that you boing off of? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about this? It's good, it's good stuff. Like, you can tell, it's like, these are all their dream ideas of, like, oh man, if I was making a chemical plant, so would I do boop, 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 boop. And it shows. I'm curious, I've been, some people might have noticed, I've been doing uh, some creative titling lately, which is just, I've basically just been making up outlandish lies about the characters and games I'm playing for my titles, and they seem to be pretty effective lately, I've been getting pretty decent numbers from them. But uh, today we're just going clean, just like, you know, my usual Sonic Mania, the whole game, on stream. I don't know, I don't think that's actually... I... As much as, like, that's more gaming than I do on a regular basis, I feel like that's not actually that impressive to the average gamer. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe I need to think about that. There's there some games where it's like, it would be actually pretty impressive, you know? 
But, uh, something like Sonic Mania is just... It's pretty standard. Let me up. Gotta watch out for those guys. They're spitting. Alright. Are we now? It's been a little over 15 minutes. And we are almost done with the second area? The second world or whatever. Okay. Ooh. Oops. Oh, I missed the speed pad. I got a little overzealous. Well, I can only blame myself on that one. Whatever. Oh, yeah, here we go. See, this was a great little twist when I was playing this the first time. Like, oh my god. It's a mean beam machine. Hold on, can I? Yeah, okay. I want to be careful that I don't accidentally drop them too early. Uh, 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 well, we'll just do it like this. Yeah. Like so. Robotnik ain't got nothing. He ain't even setting up no combos, nothing. Uh, well, we're gonna actually save that so we can get a combo here. Nice. I think by virtue of just, like, talking things out, I've really, uh, I've really improved my gaming. Like, yesterday, playing Mario and Rabbids, that game was so much harder when I played it casually on my own. But, like, just sitting down and, like, thinking it out and, like, saying what I'm doing as I do it is, it makes it so much easier. And similarly, like, the puzzle game just then. I don't know, man. Feels good. Doing my best. Excuse me for my, 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 kind of, <laughs> this. My allergies are going crazy today. And I'm trying not to take any allergy medication. I'm weaning myself off. I was doing, like, uh, Flonase, the, like, nasal spray, like, daily for years. I'm just like, no, I gotta, I gotta get myself off of that. Um... Just cause like I don't, it's expensive over time and like, it's just not good for you to constantly do medications, you know? They're always like a zero sum sort of thing of, I'll make this thing feel better, but they'll hurt you this way. And it's, I don't want that anymore. I just want to work my way towards no medications. Thanks. Um, so yeah, no more flow days. I got like some, uh, some generic Claritin that I might do. Uh, I got eye drops, I guess, but that's not you know, quite the same thing. Um, but, oh, never saw one of those clapper boards on the last marathon. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm on a vitamin D supplement. Because uh, I have a. Efficiency, according to my doctor. Oop, not going for that trick again. But I'll get off of that eventually, too. And we'll just be hunky dory. I don't know, it's, it's just one of those things where I was like, ah, dip! Where I was like, uh, Felt like I was fine, but I was just like, you know what, just to be safe, let's, we should go to the doctor. I got insurance. I should go to the doctor and make sure I'm doing good. And you know what? I probably was doing good, but certain circumstances happened where I got put on different medication and the doctor was nervous about certain things and stressed me out, which probably made things worse. 
I'm just, yeah. I'm just very tired of medical stuff. I got like a dermatology appointment and like a gastro thing coming up and it's like, I feel like after that, no more for a bit, you know? Go in, go in for regular appointments, go in if I'm, you know, something seems wrong, maybe. I just gotta, just gotta take care of myself, eat good. That's the big thing I've been focusing on, eating good. Some fiber, more vegetables. Cause I already ate a lot of vegetables, but it was always paired with like a lot of some kind of greasy stuff, like a, a lot of curry rice or like whatever. And it's, uh, that wasn't so great for my guts. So, just doing straight up like quinoa, just like some steamed quinoa and uh, some frozen peas. Healthy lunch. Um, you know. Delicious spaghetti and some, uh, all that stuff. Take a take a protein supplement because I work out. But you know, I'm it's like the super bougie like friggin' all plant protein and raw cacao and blah, blah, blah. it's like I don't really care about most of that stuff but the main thing I like about it I use uh what is it COS AOS uh it's like I it's non-dairy which is good because I just I cannot really do dairy anymore it upsets my stomach but uh what I like is that it's real chocolate. It's like a chocolate peanut butter one that I eat. And it's like, it's actual chocolate. It's not the fakey artificial chocolate, like, you know, your average protein powder. And it just, it's, it's good. It tastes way better <coughs> than uh, the other protein powders I've used. Ah, yes, I remember this guy now. This was a pain in the darkest last time. Hey. Hey, what's with that? Alright, okay, I remember now. I got it. Hit the blue one. Don't hit the orange ones. Hold on, I'm gonna blow my nose. I'll mute. Ah, oh, there we go, sorry. I got, um... I gotta set up a cough button, I think. Because I, I definitely cough pretty often on stream, and I, I feel like it's probably unpleasant for y'all. I don't know, I just don't know how to do it. Because, like, setting it up to have... Uh, to be pushed to talk is one thing. But uh, push to quiet? That's totally different. Club spin ages. Which ages? All ages? Some ages? 21 plus? I'll take whatever you got. Ah, dip. No, no, no. Okay, it's gonna be. Oh, no, it's first. So I guess it is just top to bottom regardless. No thanks. There we go. I think that's it. Oh, is it? Nope. Still got one more. Alright, it's coming first. Yeah, the blue ones move a little slower than the orange ones. You gotta be careful. survived. How could he? Oh, no. I was gonna try and do a little keep up. Hmm? Wow. Egg TV. This is the other thing I really like, is that 
too many of the game. They do the casino zone, which is fun. But like, that's the thing is that in the first, there's always like a casino zone esque one, and I always think of it as like a the spring yard zone because that's the one in the first game. Oh, he's sad. Now he's dead. But that's the one I played the most of. But yeah, it's always like some kind of wacky, kind of tech, super glitzy, glamorous zone. Um, but after the second one, they pretty much made it always be a casino one. And like, that's fun and there's slot machines, but it's fun to see uh, something different, you know? This one's a TV studio, why not? Who cares? Well, me, I, obviously, I'm talking about it like this. I care a lot, and I think it's, uh, I think it was a cool idea. I think they should make Sonic Mania 2. You know? I think it'd be fun. I'd, I want to see these guys do a 3D Sonic. At least from a design perspective, I don't think, like, visually, they might not be able to do as good because clearly they're, like, skilled in the retro Sonic, at least graphically. Um, oh, was that it? But, uh, see, look, like, this power-up has so much more to do now because of that. Ah, oh, it's cool. Super cool. But like, I think that they could design a cool 3D Sonic, you know? The problem with the 3D Sonic generally is just that, like, it's so much more work than it would be to do most of the classic Sonic stuff. You know? Like, you gotta model everything, and if you have 3D models, it's so much more work to do any kind of squash and stretch or interesting animation. That's why, like, Hotel Transylvania is super impressive. Like, say what you will about the writing, whatever. I, I think it's cool. Um, but the animation's incredible because it's CG, but they still, like, uh, warped and stretched and squashed the, the 3D models, which is so much more work, but it makes it look like classic cartoon. And it, it works great. And the, the way they do it is mainly, it's just like a lot of snapping, you know? Like they'll just squash it straight over within a frame, which looks, it looks silly, but it's supposed to. It's, it's supposed to harken back to your classic cartoonish. I don't know. I think those are fun movies, you know? On one hand, it's like, oh, why did it have to be the Happy Madison crew? But on the other hand, I, still have some affinity for the Happy Madison gang, you know, Adam Sandler and his friends. Cause like, I, I grew up with like, Big Daddy and Lil Nicky. Oh, nice. So, and like Happy Gilmore, Happy Gilmore especially, like I've, I've watched that movie so many times. Uh, so, like, I don't mind that it's them. And I like Adam Sandler, like, singing again, because I think my favorite Adam Sandler stuff was always his albums, you know? Where he'd have, like, comedy sketches and, uh, you know, comedy music. It's still very, like, juvenile sophomoric stuff, but it's, like, it's fun. And, uh,. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I find it pretty entertaining. I find that version of Dracula very cool in a lot of ways. He looks neat. Obviously, it could have been anybody playing Dracula because it's just the classic, bleh, I'm Dracula. Like, anybody could do that. In fact, I feel like the Mel Brooks, spoilers, Mel Brooks plays Dracula's father in uh, the later movies. Like, I think he's a perfect fit for that. Um, I don't know, I don't know why I'm talking about Hotel Transylvania so much. Flying Battery Zone, all right. Yeah, I don't care for this one as much. Like, there's cool stuff here, sure, but I don't know, it just feels like one of the more boring, it's a machine. It's like, okay, I guess so. 
And I know, because it, it's like back and forth. It's like, um, it's like new area, classic area, new area, classic area, but. Yeah, I don't know, some of these classic areas aren't my jam. Like, I always, I never liked this one, or what was it, like, Metropolis Zone? That's why I never beat uh, Sonic 2, I think it was, because Metropolis Zone, I always got lost. I'd always find a spot where I just could not figure out how to progress. I don't know, going back, I'd probably be able to figure it out. That's, that's the case with a lot of video games, is I always would get stuck on some part where I was probably just missing something obvious, and I either didn't know how to look up walkthroughs, or walkthroughs were not as easily available. There was like a point in time where walkthroughs were actually kind of difficult to find. You could do game facts, and they had interesting, like, indexing systems and stuff, but it was pretty hard to search through some of those. But I don't know, man. I was just bad at video games, I think is really what it comes down to. That's the thing is, I love games for their ideas and everything, but I have never been actually good at video games. My roommate, Corey, he's good at video games. Like, he's one of those gamers where, you know, it's like, whoa, what's this, fighting games? I, well, I haven't played a fighting game. Uh, let me just get into it. And just, like, within a couple hours, he's like, I get it. And he just, like, wrecks shop on everybody. Or, like, even, you guys have seen how much Mario Kart I've played. And, like, how hard I've grinded at that. And then I play against him once, and, up, oh, nope. I'm always, always losing. It's like, it is... Just bananas. I know, I hear that like when I listen to Geek Nights, right? Because like, ooh, they're like uh, in their 40s, you know? So they've seen the, the rise of video games from like the NES onwards. So like when they talk about, um, when they talk about like, like first person shooters, they're just like, yeah, we started with Quake and we just got better or we played CSGO, ah, crushed. And I'm just like, I can't... No, I just missed out on that. Like, I'm only now kind of okay at first-person shooters. But that that took a long time. I had to, like... I played through, like, all of Far Cry 5, and, like, that took me forever. I just... I don't know. I, I played Doom, and I found Doom cool, but, like, it took me forever to get even okay at first-person shooters. To the point that I could actually play them at all. So, yeah, I can't imagine being half as good as some people. Like, when I see people playing Overwatch, I'm like, oh my god, how do you do that? Oh my god, come on, let me up! <laughs> ah. See, this is why I don't like flying battery zone. It's just sections like this. It's like, what do I do? I'm just trying to get through, and it's just so awkward. I don't want to have to keep doing all this nonsense. Just I want to get to the end of the stage, dagnabbit. All right. All right, all right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, that's not so good for me. Oops. All right. Ooh. Oh, well, I wanted those rings. Yeah, whatever. This is my bad. Oops. Well, the thing is also, like, aside from bonus stages, you only need a ring. Really. Like, the more you have, the better chance you have of grabbing some back up. Hello? No! Oh, jeez, we're getting trash. We're into trash. Just gotta be careful, you just gotta time it right. Sorry, I'm gonna be doing little 
moves like that. Because when I talk, it's not as easy to see on the camera uh, with my monitor. So I just want to make sure that the camera hasn't frozen again. So a little... Just to see. Just to be sure. There we go. Now we can get him. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Playing with Tails is kind of easy mode because you get... You'll usually get, like, two hits. For the price of one. Got three screens going on here. I got the game. I got you guys over there, which is chat and a monitor of what I'm doing. And then over here, I have my iPad, which is set to run ads uh, when I go on break and to add stream markers when something cool happens. I was just talking, um, my, my physical therapist, I will say. Uh, we were talking about her son is, like, also a streamer. And he's got the triple screen situation, like, that triple monitor. And I'm just like, that's so much. Then, like, thinking about it, it's like, I'd probably find a good use. I'd still have the game in the middle and then the monitor on one side. I know. My hope is when I get the the gaming PC, which uh, still not sure when that's gonna happen, but we'll figure it out. Thankfully, graphic card graphics cards have uh, gone back down in price because crypto crashed. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I, I will probably at least have a double. I'll use this old monitor for a thing, and then I'll be able to have Chrome open. I'll probably do some, like, reaction streams. Should be fun. You know, some commentary stuff uh, over YouTube videos or whatever. Definitely, I want to go through all of BDG's videos at some point. BDG being Brian David Gilbert. He is my favorite online creator. Uh, a lot of people know him from his Polygon series, Unraveled, where he goes through, like, the, the first one is like, well, unraveling the Zelda timeline, and then others like, which Mega Man robot masters should be sentient, and which ones it wasn't worth it. Uh, you know, ranking every book in Skyrim, that kind of stuff. Um, so he did that, but then he has his own personal YouTube channel. And he has this one series, Dances Moving, that, like, starts out as, like, starts out as just, like, a cheesy take on, like, an instructional dance series. And it's, it's, you know, fun music, and it's got some funny jokes. Um, yeah. By the end of it, like, genuinely... I, I've not had such a strong reaction to something since I watched, like, Synecdoche, New York, which is a movie about how you'll never achieve your dreams um, as an artist. And, like, yeah, that's a movie where as soon as the as soon as soon it cut to black for the credits, I started crying my eyes out. It was so powerful. And then, uh, yeah, I had the same reaction to the end of Dance is Moving, a series about just doing silly dances. That final part wrecked me. So I just, yeah, I'd love to share that with people, you know? D definitely, go watch it. Um, Brian David Gilbert, Dance is Moving. It's got a playlist and everything. Uh, you can check out on Spotify. <sighs> Dang, Drew. Got us a spam bot. Hold on. Wish I had some moderators for stuff like that. Oh well. Um. Maybe someday. But uh, yeah. He also did uh, an Alba an Abba cover album called Abba, like streaming like Abba, which is five different Abba songs as different, like, uh, Halloween monsters. 
Uh, so it's like, lay all your love on me, but now it's lay all your blood on me, and he's Dracula. Um, one of my favorites is, uh, Give Me a Man After Midnight, sung by Victor Frankenstein. <laughs> it's great. It's on Spotify, um, and there's also, like, he has a video. He has videos for all of them, technically, but... The, the main one is that Lay All Your Love On Me. That one has, like, actually a full video, whereas the other ones are just kind of, like, a little motion graphic thing, which is okay. Uh, but, yeah, check out all of his videos. Like, it really doesn't take that long. He doesn't have a ton. You know, check out everything he did with Polygon. I really, really loved all of his work there. Did, did a stream series called Gil and Gilbert, which is like, um, a... Uh, 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 uh. Which is him and Patrick Gill, and they just, uh, they did different video game challenges. Like, they did, uh, the Master Sword Trials from Breath of the Wild, but every time they died, they had to improvise a little song. Then they had another one. They had a thing that they do called This Is A Segment Called This Is A Segment Called. And they'd basically just take viewer suggestions for segments out of a hat and, uh, um, and just do them right off the, right off the top of the dome. It was all, like, improv stuff. It was fun. Ooh. Yeah, I, I just love anything that Brian David Gilbert has done. I'm trying not to be parasocial about it, but it's hard. He just seems like such a nice guy, and I'm sure he's fun to hang out with, but I don't know him. So, I gotta, I gotta be careful not to get too too attached. I'm, I'm way too prone to that, you know? I, I It's mainly because I listen to so many podcasts, and podcasts are deeply parasocial in so many ways. Like, like way more than a lot of, and YouTube as well, like any online content, but like podcasts especially are able to key into that in a way that is just not, is real uncomfortable. Mm. I wanna do a podcast again. I've done like several podcasts, but I've just never, I've never kept it going long enough to, like, grow an audience. I don't know. The thing with the podcast is, um, the successful ones either have a really interesting concept or a really interesting host, usually because it's, like, a celebrity or something, and so people are just like, oh, yeah, I know Dan Harmon. I'll listen to the Dan Harmon podcast, and it's like, yeah, sure. But for me, I like stuff like Punch Up the Jam, which is where they, they like, analyze a song. They spend the whole show analyzing, like, a song and, you know, breaking down just, like, how ridiculous it is or, like, any interesting tidbits. And then they, uh, they make a punch-up. They basically are like, this is how it's, we would improve it, quote-unquote. And it's usually just a parody, basically, or something. Um, but that one I stopped watching because it, it was originally, uh, Miel... Some, I don't remember her last name, if she even says it. Hmm. Um, and Demia Dijuibe, who you'd probably know from Vine. You've, you've probably seen one or two of their Vines. Uh, and it was great, and then Demi left, and that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. He's writing on stuff. I think he was writing on The Tonight Show? One of those talk shows. And, uh... Yeah, he he left, and then it was Miel and guests, and the, the that's I think where I fell off because they they were just like we're not going to necessarily punch it up every time, and I'm like oh man, like it, the the part where they analyze the show is fun, but you guys aren't gonna you ain't gonna punch up the jam, man. and now. Uh, it's been given to Shmo Yoho, which I, I like Shmo Yoho a lot, but I have not listened to the show since they took over. So I don't know if it's, you know, I don't know what it's like now. I, I think I'll probably give it another try. 
I still, I also, I have Talking Tunes with Rob Paulson, which was, it, it was a huge deal uh, for me because the, I'm, I'm a voice actor professionally and the reason I got into voice acting was because of Rob Paulson's podcast, Talking Tunes with Rob Paulson, which is the, super simple. Like, um, again, it's like one of those ones where it's, it's the host. Rob Paulson has done, you know, he was, he's been, uh, Raphael and Donatello in Ninja Turtles, and he's a director on it. He's Wacko Warner from Animaniacs. He's been he's been so many different things, and he's been working in animation for so long. And uh, yeah, basically every episode he just gets a different he gets a different friend, a different voice actor friend, or just like actor or whatever. You know, he's got directors on. Uh, He'll get them on and just talk with them, just chat, have a fun time. Uh, that was another one where it like changed. It got bought by the Nerdist and they, uh, they, they didn't change the format hugely. It's just, they, they made it, I don't know, I liked it when it was just loosey goosey. It was just them having, you know, a conversation, but the Nerdist, they made it a little more specific. Um, the big thing is that every time they would read, like, some scene from a movie or something in different character voices, it's like, yeah, that's fun. I don't, I don't have a problem with that, necessarily. But it's like, man, I'd rather them spend time telling me... Because what I always liked was the stories, you know? Hearing about their careers and stuff. Rather than hearing them necessarily perform, because I can hear them perform any time on television and stuff. I... I like the podcast for the stories but yeah that podcast ended a while ago and I've just been I've been putting off actually listening to the end of it because it's I don't know I just remember being like having no direction in life not knowing what I wanted to do with myself having like this huge creative urge but no idea of how I wanted to actually like express it and uh I just I Remember listening to that? I, I think I saw it because... I don't remember what I got linked to or something, but it was like... Mark Hamill was on for uh, May the 4th, the, the Star Wars day, and... Ah, ah, no. No, don't hit me. No, thank you. And, um... Oh, he munching. Oh, oh. And, uh, I need to get him to, like, smack the wall or something. I saw him break his thing. Uh. Oh, yeah, there it is. But, uh, yeah, I saw that and I was like, that's pretty good. And I listened through. Uh, and it was, I listened through so many, I was really enjoying it. And then I realized it was when he had Billy West on the first time. I was like, these are just a couple of guys having fun. Like, there's nothing super, there's nothing specifically like, you know, it's, it's not like they're not very skilled. I'm not going to act like, like anybody could do what they're doing. But I just realized it's like. I could do this. And that was that was really the spark that got me going. And then pretty soon after I like ended up in a big project that didn't pan out, which I think I've talked about before. Um but like those the combination of those two things are what really got me into uh the mindset that got me where I am now. And I still have a lot you know, bigger goals for voiceover, but I, I, that's what set it off for me, and ah, the idea that it's all there, and it's all just done, and there won't be any more, it's just, hmm, I don't know, I guess they could do a revival or something, or like someone, some new actor, I'd, I'd love to see the same concept with, uh, with someone else, you know, maybe someone who's, uh, in the Canadian scene, you know, someone from Vancouver. Lee Tokar. I like Lee Tokar's vlogs. I, I'm I'm a pretty big fan of his stuff. Uh, I remember I ordered 
like a uh, voice animation voiceover essential. It was just like a uh, like a instructional series, and I, I had the videos downloaded, and then I lost them because I accidentally wiped that hard drive. Super unfortunate. Uh, but. Yeah, and then I tried getting in contact with the company, and they just ghost me every time. They won't even give me an explanation of why I can't get it, even though I, you know, I paid for it a long time ago. It's probably some licensing thing, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, wait, I remember this now. Yeah, you gotta go through here and then zip zap, zaboo, there we go. Yeah, that was a pretty good, pretty good instructional series if you can find it. I don't know if there's any legit way to get it now. It was through uh, 88910 Productions, I think. I can't remember what it's called. It's like an instructional site. Um, so yeah, they had that series, and they have a bunch of other ones, but that was the one I, I got. Ah, I still remember most of it. Like, it was nothing mind-blowing. It was just, like, you know, uh, his particular methodology for coming up with the character voice, which was interesting to hear. And, uh... Yeah, some stuff about, you know, what to do, and... You know, he was just like, eh, put together, you know, some kind of demo, and then your agent will be like, let's make you a better demo, but s submit it to agencies and be like, I want to be a voice actor, and here's what I can do. And if, they s if everybody says no, that doesn't necessarily mean you're terrible. It could just mean that you did a bad tape. So, you know, just keep working at it. The big thing right now is a lot of people make their own tape and then accidentally burn some bridges because what they made was, you know, not great. Back in the day, that's the thing is back in the day, it was it was much harder to put a tape together and there were a lot less people trying to. Nowadays, it's like everybody thinks they can just download Audacity and just record whatever and send it into an agency and get started. And it's like, while technically you don't have to get a full professional demo made right off the bat, um, it is good to at least get like, you know, some coaching or t take a class, take some coaching. The big thing is, Live performance. Live performance is a big one, which this is, I would call this semi-live performance because the feedback is delayed. So while this is a live stream, this is happening, like I'm doing this currently, um, there is, you know, there's a delay between when I s do something and y'all react. Plus, if you guys, like, laugh or something, unless you decide to type that into chat that you laughed, like, I can't know if a joke I made was funny or not. So, it's hard to say. Plus, you know, the, the, um, the collaborative element of, like, say, theater, you know, stand-up is all about learning how to work a crowd, more or less, and, like, learning how to improvise and keep keep working with the, the punches and all that. So, it's different skill sets you can get. The, the main thing is just learning to be comfortable with yourself as a performer. Because I, I think that's a big thing, is too many people go straight to YouTube, or they like try and record on their own, and it's like, that's not a terrible place to start. You know, but it, it, there are things that are difficult to find without actually like performing with people. Oh boy, the death egg. I just, yeah, there are things like even just getting into a Zoom call 
or like a Discord call with other actors and just improvising a scene or like recording something together. You know, recording with a director or whatever, like that does so much to help you start to understand yourself as an actor to not have to have all your own energy. Like that's the big thing about acting is that you're sharing energy with the other performers. You know, and you got you can energize each other in a lot of ways. Oh, there it is. Kind of blended into the background there. So Yeah, I I would say trying to do stuff on your own, it'll be okay, but just just hang out with somebody, you know, get started on a project. Make your own thing. Is the big th that's the big thing I'm trying to work on right now is just make your own stuff. You know, just write something. It doesn't have to be good. It, you know, do you want to be a writer? No, you want to be a voice actor. So you know what? Just write something that's cool enough. Get some other actors on it. Just get all in a in a Discord call together, or whatever. And have a grand old time just doing it. You don't even need to post up. Any I think that's the big thing. Uh, there was a guy who was just like, I really want to be a voice actor. I really want to get started on this journey. Here's like the best I can do right now. And I was just like, you know, it's it's not a problem that you're posting this here. Like, go for it if that's what you want to do. But like, you don't have to feel pressured to like document every single thing you do publicly. Like you can record it and just listen to it and then just never listen to it again. Delete it or hang on to it and you know, use, you know, you can share it later or use it to compare with how you've improved. Like, I still have a ton of old files from old projects that are not good, but I can listen and compare. So, like, yeah, I just... You don't have to, like, show everything off. You don't have to worry about what other people think. You can just practice and listen to it yourself. Show it to people that you know will give you a solid opinion. Don't worry about getting clicks and likes and all that stuff. That's just, you know, that stuff is certainly helpful and it'll boost your confidence, but it's not a necessity when you're just starting out. You know, similar with art. Like, people are like, don't trace stuff. It's like, don't trace stuff and claim that you didn't is the big thing. Like, if you trace something and then just like, look at this thing I made, it's like, no, don't, don't trace stuff. Yeah. Oh, hold on a sec. Okay. Um, don't, don't trace stuff and post it. You know, tracing is good for learning, like, different things about line widths and different angles and things. Like, there's a lot you can learn from tracing work, but it's, don't post it places as if it's your own work or something. Just do it for practice and then don't ever show anybody. Who cares? You know? Like, in general, art, you know, it's fun to do things collaboratively, and it's fun to do things publicly, but you don't have to. And doing so, especially early on, like, a lot of the feedback you might get doing a lot of stuff early on is not going to be actually very helpful. It'll probably be more harmful because it'll mess with your confidence. You know, obviously, no matter what you do... The, the first handful of stuff you do is probably gonna suck. That's just a reality of art. Like, the, the you gotta start at some point, and the first, your first work will always be your worst work. Because, like, like, you're gonna improve. Like, if your first work is your best work, that's actually a pretty bad thing, because it means you never get better. No matter how good your first stuff is, everything after will be better than that. And so you just want to get through your worst work as fast as you can and get on to work that you can feel happy with. 
And if some of the, and if you never show anybody that early work, that's fine. That what as an artist, you should be making stuff for yourself first and foremost. And then when you later, you know, try and show people or like try and get some validation or whatever, it's like yeah. Now you know now you know you have the confidence. It's like I've been working at this a while. I know that I'm better. I deserve a little attention. It's that's good. Attention. The need for attention is a totally healthy human like thing. I, I think it's frustrating that we as a society treat the desire for attention as if it's just stupid and immature and no one should ever do it. It's like no. People require attention. We're social creatures and someone paying attention to us, showing that they see us is like super important for our continued development. Our continued mental health and just like happiness. So don't, you know, don't obviously try and steal attention. Don't try and uh, take attention away from someone else but you deserve attention too, you know? And if you have something that you think people would want to pay attention to, then by all means, show it off. Um, yeah, yeah, that's just, that's just my philosophy on art. Oh, nope, watch out, watch out, he's a bouncy boy, okay. Uh, nope, whoa. Woo! Okay. Ah. I hate those. Ah, oh, I hate those ones. There we go. Okay. That's always the awkward moment in Sonic is when you, uh, you're in a spot and you can tell there's some way to progress. You're not sure where it is. You just gotta keep kind of working at it. Here. Like, this is a, a weird, puzzly bit, and it's like, where am I going? Oh, oh, is that what I want? Nope. Like, earlier with the ice cube, it's like, that's not unfun. I enjoyed that, but it's like, that feels so antithetical to the concept of Sonic, you know? Oh, oh yeah, I remember now. Metal Sonic. We got bears, monkeys, pigs, chickens, penguins. Actually, those are like puffins. Get him. Get him. Gonna get you. Go get him. Well, gotta watch out. I don't know. I say all that. Live streams are like pure, just trying to get attention. It's just like. I'm playing a video game, and you should care. And it's like, I mean, some people like the game, some people like you, but overall, it is such a, like, weird, solipsistic art form of just, you know, I can pretend like I'm doing this for your entertainment. I can pretend like this isn't just me using it as a means to get attention, but we all know that's not correct. Like, we all know for sure that I'm doing this because I want attention, and, uh, I want to just, like, play a video game, and for some reason, people will want to watch that, or at least I think people will want to, you know? It's a very, like, kind of selfish art form in a lot of ways. But, you know what? It's similar to what I was saying with attention. It's like, it's okay to be selfish sometimes. You deserve you know, attention. And you deserve to care about yourself. You can't always live for everyone else, you know? I am hitting him, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Ah, missed. Oop! No, my single coin. Excuse me, rings. Oh, there we go. Get him. Get him. All right, we're still going. 
Ba-boom! Yeah, this is like a three-phase fight. Oh, jeez. Chaos Control! Oh, jeez. Now watch out for his big spiky fingers. Boop! That's all right. There was a checkpoint right ahead of this. How many levels does this have? Because I'm pretty sure right after this is where my camera messed up last time. Granted, as I said, I'm going a little... Oop! I'm going a little quicker. Because I'm not doing all the bonus stages. But, uh... Yeah, this game must be fairly long for a Sonic. Because it said, like, five and a half hours on average. I'm guessing that's with people trying to get the, the bonuses and stuff, though. Ah, dip. All right, gotta be careful not to get back behind him. I should play this a little safer, I think. I'm trying. I'm trying to rush him. I think I can get one in. I think I can get one or two in. Okay, yeah, that's one I gotta wait for. Ah. Okay. 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 Play it safe, play it safe. Yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd want to do a podcast, but I don't have any particular concept for one. And it's like, this is already what I pretty much do for a podcast, is just kind of ramble. Ah. Ramble and put it online where people can hear it. The only real difference here is that I'm distracted by the video game. Yeah, I don't know. Even with that, it's like BDG has at least a kind of an interesting gimmick with his streams where he is he's working out. He's on a stationary bike during his streams exercising. It's like, that's, you know, a pretty interesting way to do it. Ah, there we go. Only one life left. Played a real, real sneaky. Hey, hey, what the heck? Oh, freaking dude. Yeah, I think, I think that's an interesting idea. Um... I don't know if I personally could do it though. I, 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 when I work out, I like to focus on the workout. Cause like, as little as I know about exercise overall, I just go off of what Arnold Schwarzenegger said, which is that the main thing that will cause uh, growth and development in, in exercise is focus. Give me a bop bop. Give me one. Give me one. Where is it? Oh my god. Whew. It's close. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, that's a big thing he points out. Is he's like, I'm in the gym and I see all these young dudes who just aren't focused. They'll be on, like, their phone or whatever, and I noticed that too. You know? Oh. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. sneaked one by you. I sneaked one through. Hold on, let me add a stream marker for that. For that situation. Another bop bop. Uh, oh, oh, well, it, yeah, 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 whatever. Hey, get off. Get, what do I do here? Get out of here. Ah. Ah, oh, there we go. Um. But yeah, he's like... 
A lot of his progress, a lot of his, like, growth as a bodybuilder was, like, just focusing. Just, like, as he exercised, just be in the moment of the exercise. Just hard paying attention. And I feel like even doing, like, music... Because if you see him in any, like, you know, footage exercising, uh, he would be exercising not in pure silence because everybody would be making noise around him, but, like, he'd be exercising... Um... Quietly. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Give me one. Give me one. There we go. Like, he wouldn't have music playing, and it's like, I'm not quite that hardcore. I'm usually listening to a podcast or, like, a, you know, Game Grumps episode or something. Some kind of video. Or, like, at the very least, some music, you know? I want to get to music... I want to get down to just doing it with music, because then... Uh, uh, oh, dude! No! Yep. That's all right. We'll, we'll use a continue. And it, it saves and stuff, so it's not that big a deal. But, uh, all right, we'll call that the first break. But, yeah, I'm making pretty good progress. I think I'm, I'm through this part much faster than I was last time. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. I'll be our back with more Sonic Mania. We're playing through the whole thing in just a minute. BRB. All right, let's keep it going. <sighs> so yeah, the other thing, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's like, uh, focus, obviously, you know, like visualize what it is that you want. But uh, he's also like, you need a goal. He's like, it doesn't matter how good you do, 
how hard you work. If you don't have a goal in mind, you don't you have something to visualize, then, uh, I mean, you're never going to achieve. You're never going to achieve it if you don't have anything that you're trying to achieve. And that's, that's where I'm stuck right now because I don't have a specific goal. I'm basically just exercising for the sake of, like, fitness. So, I don't know. That's probably why I haven't gotten incredible gains. But I, I feel like I should just sit down and do that sometime. Think up a specific goal, maybe find a specific person to try and uh, try and improve my body to the level of. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just exercising for my health. Although I say that, I feel so sore all the time because of my my weight training, you know? Like, what am I... What am I training for? Nothing in particular. And yet, I get... Uh, I get so sore, and it's like, oh, uh, my upper body isn't sore anymore. Now let's, let's wreck my lower body. <laughs> Ridiculous. I don't know why I do it to myself. Well, I guess it's just because it feels good. I I like I like the exercise sensation. I guess. I don't know. I recommend it. You know, get some kind of exercise. It doesn't even it doesn't have to be you know weight training. It works for me. I enjoy weight training, but you maybe you like uh, maybe you like jump rope. I, I was jump roping for a while. Maybe you like, uh, you know, uh, I like cycling. That's a good one. Uh, I don't know, maybe you like yoga or Zumba, whatever. I don't really know what Zumba's all about. Uh, ooh, give me that. Give me that. No, I missed it. Ah! Panic! Ah, I jumped. Jumped at the wrong time. Um, just like find, find the exercise that you find enjoyable. Sports, you know, just like a straight up game. That's good exercise. Obviously some sports are a lot more detrimental than other ones. You know, like contact sports are probably not great for you. But, you know, you know basketball, it's a good one, soccer. I keep hitting the spring! I can't go back. Can't go back. God, I hate the underwater levels. Like, in Sonic, they're always the worst ones because of this stupid drowning mechanic. I don't know what that did. What is making that noise? No, no, send me up further. Why is it making that noise still? Is that tails drowning? Oh, oh, okay, we're still going up. We just keep hitting the sides, I guess. But oh, wait. Go away. No, god damn it! I had it, I had it, and then I got... Oh, damn, I... I hate this jellyfish. God, he's so annoying, he just slowly drifts into the way. Get out of here, dude. There we go. Jeez. So obnoxious. There we go. I just hate being underwater in these games. Oh, uh, well. Speak of the devil. Uh. Oh, there we go. Through. 
Okay. I think I get it. There are interesting dynamics to that kind of thing, and it does add a decent amount of challenge, but it's also like, I don't know, I just always find it way more annoying than it is, than it's worth. Oh, those are green? The way that it's tinted in the uh, underwater segments, it looks like it's just dark gray. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, would you stop it? I'd appreciate it if you could stop it. Whoa. Come on. Keep going. There we go. Push me down, push me down. There we go. Nope, nope, don't get me. There we are. Yeah, these segments I don't mind quite as much. It's not, I'm not a huge fan, but I don't mind. Oh, hey, I see Eggman. Egging it up. <clears throat> All right. Oh yeah, and this part's pretty fun. Where it's like the reverse. Uh, well, okay, there's this bit first. And then it's like, yeah, the reverse of what it was in whichever game, I think Sonic 3 had Hydro City before. Yeah, it's a reverse of that boss. Youch. Ooh. Gotta get through quick. go off on him? Maybe I just gotta get him when he isn't doing a bomb. Yeah, you gotta get him, but not the bomb. So you gotta, like, time it out correct. Bam. Perfect. Hey. Another thing I'd like to stream sometime is Cuphead. I've done it at least once, and it's like, I really love that game. But it's also so hard. And I'm like, ugh. I don't know when I'm gonna get around to it. All right. We're pretty close to where we had to stop last time. So I'm feeling pretty good about our pace. Ideally, I'll finish this in more like four hours so that, you know, I'll be done in the afternoon. But if I can do five still, that that's would still be okay. The prediction is six. I just, I haven't been this before, so I don't know how, how long it actually is. Zibbity zap. Bibbity bop. Woo woo woo. All right. Okay. Sorry, um. Yeah. Keep going. minute yeah this is why like in a sonic is just flow just gotta keep on going 
Make it feel smooth. Make it feel fun. Uh-oh. Uh okay, grabbed. There we go. Gotta use those invincibility frames. Their fullest. Look at this. It's like a water park. They got slides and everything. And there we go. There's no reason for this to spin. It's just to show off that, hey, look at that. You can see Sonic from every angle. It's like, oh yeah, kind of, it's kind of neat. You're just showing off. All right, whoa. Whoa, going so fast, we're almost going off the screen. Oh. Let the hand get us. Go down the tube. I hope y'all are doing pretty good out there, having a good weekend. I had a very good stream yesterday, so I'm feeling pretty great. I'm, I'm real excited to keep working on Mario and Rabbids, but you know, it's a marathon, and because I failed this last time, it's like I really wanted to. Really wanted to make up for that. I felt, I felt pretty bad about it. I don't know if anybody really cares, but I care. Oh, let me go. Let me go. There we go. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, bump. Um. But yeah, I do still want to do Doom 2016 at some point. It's just, I'm going to need to practice it a lot more um, before I'm going to be able to do that. But you know, get, get hype. It'll happen eventually. And, uh, yeah, I got a bunch of other plans for marathon streams for the future. And that'll all uh, come to fruition over time. Ooh, watch out. Watch out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me out. Gotta get out for at least a second. Alright, let's just hop. Bam. Hit him at least once. I think I'll be able to three cycle him here. He lets me out of this spin cycle. Get him from above. He's not too hard. Damn, I don't got any rings left, though. Whoop. Ah, what? I didn't hit, hit any of his weaponry. That's malarkey. Ah, oh, and I'm back to here. I go through this segment again? All right. This ain't too hard. It is a bit annoying. Let 
make sure to move it back up so that he'll actually follow you and get hit. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing, is this second part of the boss is not actually that hard. But it is hard if you don't have any rings. And you lose your bloody rings doing this bit. Yeah, you get three pity rings. Not super helpful, guys. No, oh, let me get the rings. Let me get them back, okay. And this part's just annoying because all he does is spin you. So what are you supposed to do there? Just wait? I hate when a boss has a phase like that where it's just like, eh, just sit and wait while he hits you. It's like, or not even hits you, he just like razzles you for a minute. It doesn't hurt. Oh no. The rings, they dissipated. A single ring is fine. It's about as helpful, so. Please, please, please. No, 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 please. Okay. okay. Oh, boy. Ah. Uh, nervous. I only got the single ring. Let's just play it safe. Let's see. Come in, jump him. Nope, tried to jump him. Okay, Tails is being quite helpful here. At least I'm getting in those pot shots from him. Alright. Alright, that counts. That counts. That counts. There we go. Whoo! Yeah, that single ring made me real nervous. Get over here. There we go. Mmm. My coffee is quite cold. All right. Yeah, there we go. Caught up to where it froze up last time. Oh, hey, Knuckles. Hey, and it's the Magician guy. This is also, I think, as far as I got in my personal playthrough of this. Look at Tails got the little flight goggle headset. Ooh. He's cute. Oh, hey, Armadillus. Flying Armadillus. What is this? This little guy. I don't even want to hurt him. But I got him. Got a point. Whoa, whoa. Just gotta dodge around. Don't want to get too far forward. Hit me up, see? You never know when something sneaky will happen. What's that? Where are those little purples? They're just going, I guess. Nice shield. Another armadillus. Aw, oh, yeah, doubled up. I don't know, those spikes look concerning, but I don't know if they hurt me or not. Whoa, there's a train. Help friend. What the? Eggman! 
Who gave you this? Whoa, it had a gun on it. What the heck? It had a gun and a bunch of loop-de-loops. Oh, I see that down there. I want to... Oh, that was a bit nerve-wracking. Yeah, we're definitely making better time. I think it took me like three hours to get to here before, and now we're only about an hour and a half in. A little more, I think. But this is all unseen territory at this point for me. I am pretty focused, though, so that's, that's always good. Oh, I think I've just been getting better at games by, you know, playing them more often. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Yeah, too often I'm focused on commentary, but it's like, maybe if I just focus on playing the game? It seems like people, most of the time my viewers are not necessarily here for me, they're here for the game, but then my sparkling personality keeps them hanging out. I can't. Although, I do my best. I hope you guys find me entertaining. It's interesting. I've been doing this for like a couple years, but I I keep getting like, I'll get like a, a big chunk of followers, and then nobody watches. Burr, burr, burr. I don't have a ton of regulars. I might have a regular for like a month or something, and then they just kind of, just kind of go away. I had the Blue Island when I was playing the Jack games, but as soon as I stopped those Jack games, he's gone. Oh well. That's fine. I know people are busy, have their own lives going on. Lord knows I would watch way more streams if I had the time, but it's like... Even just keeping up with YouTube. Like the scant few subscriptions I have notifications turned on for is like so much time. I'm listening back through, I uh, bought like a, a webinar series a long time ago from Dave Fenoy, who's like a great voice actor and I, I love his work, I love his teaching style, but I've never listened all the way through. So that's what I'm working through now. And then for a while I was working, I, I'll go for like a few weeks listening like I'm trying to catch up on Geek Nights. Okay, now I'm gonna do this and it's like, I get close, I get close to catching up on stuff, and then I just scoot over to something else. Didn't get the emerald, but you know what, that's okay. Mirage Saloon. All right. Whoa. Oh, barrel spins. That's interesting. Oh yeah, oh shoot me. Shoot me. Whew. Nice. That was very satisfying. Get him. Get him. Get him. What? What was that? Some sort of caterpillar. Oh jeez. Ooh, he's a big boy. Wow. Oh, look at those classic 3D effects. Okay, just gotta get the head. Classic Legend of Zelda worm business. Uh, ooh, the perspective's a little confusing. Alright, coming, coming. Alright, got him, got him one. Come on now. Got him two. I think I got him actually like four now. Bosses don't take a ton of hits, it's just like surviving as you get them. Ah, dip. Ah, dip. Yeah, timing it out. I'm having a lot of trouble with that. Uh, nope. Oh, yep, that got him. Nope, that didn't. It's honestly not that intimidating because he's not doing. I don't think I've gotten hit by him even once. He's just large. Whoa. Uh-oh. Where's he gonna land? Land here. Oh. 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 What's that on? Won't even let me look. 
denying, denying this from me. There he goes with his dangly magic hands. Oh snap, is that Weasel from the comics? Ah! Put a cork in our engine. That's pretty cool. Are we gonna run into Sally Acorn? I'd be happy with that. Sally Acorn's from the comics and the show. There's some pinball situation going on over there. Whoa! Oh, the sand! This is all new to me, so this is, this is pretty cool. Oh, jeez, he's looking. Yeah. Bop. Nope. Bop. There we go. Some Sonic Spinball action. If you haven't played Sonic Spinball, highly recommended. Love that game. Uh, it's a little frustrating because, like, you know, it's a physics based thing, but the physics are not super strong. Oh, wait a minute. We had. What are those wanted posters? Weasel. Little green parrot fella. Some other hairy dude. Some kind of furry business. I don't know. Oh, that's a piano. That's cute. It's a saloon piano. Wait, where the where am I going? Okay, there we go. See what I mean? There's always a weird, awkward moment in most Sonic stages where it's just like, where am I going? Oh, hello, hello, who's that? Oh, it's a, it's a robot. Bot. Hold up a sec, make sure I get the checkpoint. Whoa, whoa! I got milkshakes just sitting out. Let's go melt, you dingus. Milkshake sounds good. I haven't had one in forever because I've been avoiding dairy, but... I don't know, I could do like, uh, what do they do, banana milkshakes? You just blend up a frozen banana, some chocolate or whatever. That's not a milkshake, that's a dang smoothie. But whatever, I don't mind. <coughs> Here we go, magician man, you and me. Let's go. Oh, weasel. Nice try. Whoa. Oh, he's bouncing around on that tail. Who are you gonna turn into next? Oh, it's this guy. Oh, like dang Woody Woodpecker. Oh, he's got bombs. Gotta watch out. Watch out for the bombs. Alright, and then he's gonna turn into that other guy. What's his deal? Oh, he's big. That's his deal. Oh. Is he just like another hedgehog? What is he? Come on now. It's painful when he does that. It, it, it's flashing around like it's hurting him. Are we done? Are we done yet? There we go. Take, it took quite a few hits. I got him. That's what, the third of those guys out of five? So we might have a bit more to go than I thought, but you know what? That's all right. That's marathon, baby. Shoot me. Shoot me. Oh, there we go. Off to the big city. Now, oh, oil ocean. Oil Ocean is a cool concept, but it's annoying to actually play. Because it's so easy to fall down. But yeah, it's still following that pattern of like... Uh, classic stage, reimagined, and new stage. I ain't complaining. I'm loving it. It's very fun as far as Sonic goes, but I'm just noticing patterns. I'm just human. That's part of what we do. All right. 
see, that's the thing also. Those fans that blow you up, they also arrest your momentum. So if you try and jump high up over them, they immediately stop you however high up you were when uh, you entered the fan stream. That's not fun. I'm just trying to stay as high up as I can so that I can avoid falling into the soup. That Texas gold. That oil. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. Oh, it's forcing me down. I don't like it. Don't make me go into soup. Close there, wanna be careful. Let me through, let me through. Like on one hand, I, I feel like it's worse falling into the oil um, than it would be if I just fell off and died because at least then I just get sent straight to the checkpoint with the oil that you could take several minutes just trying to get back up, let alone back to where you were. Oh geez, that's a lot of flames. Yeah, yeah. Oil smoke. It's no good. Bad for the lung. Oh right. I think I did actually get this far. Unless, did they have this mechanic in the original one where you have to like clear out the smoke? I don't remember it, but I don't remember if it did, but I like it. Oh, goodness. There we go. Clear air. Environmental message. Let me go. Tails, let me go. Thank you for your help, but let me go. There we go, and clean. And clean. Were those like showers? Like a decontamination shower? Weird. Nope, nope, no soup. No thank you. Alright, alright. Ah, no thanks. Oh boy, I don't want to deal with that if I can help it. I cannot. That's all right. Oops. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> it's just a moving platform, but it's just ah dip. It's one of those ones where the the momentum's a little weird. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, you gotta kind of shoot it earlier than you'd expect. Thank you for cleaning my friends. Thank you for making them clean again. Do, 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 do. You're a pal and a confidant. Oh, right, I can climb. The Earl. Please. Oh, geez, everything's on fire. It's my bad. There we go. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, oh, this looks interesting. Is this the 
the next stage. This is just a different part of the same stage. Oh, my fire. How will I burn things? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. We're going forward. We're going down. We're going around. More is there to say. Well, I'm not gonna go back in there. It was a lot of, a lot of nonsense. Oof. Okay, cleaned itself up. Oh, hello. Yeah, I need that. Yeah, this is just straight up the boss from uh, the other game. I think this was in two. All right. And, ooh, but it's got a little, little additional action going on. Whoop. Nope, give me my coin. Give me my ring. Give me my little metal thing. Ah, dip. I was trying to brute force him, didn't work out. Okay. So help, Tails. Get me down. Is there, how exactly do you get Tails to do that? Because it'd be very helpful if I could make it, you know, happen more predictably. Come and get me then. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right, protected. Oh, they're separate. I thought the that shooty was a uh, just another way to harm the main body. All right, and then we'll just go over here. Safe. Ooh, that was a little risky. Hey, Tails. And let's yeah. Get him, we got him. Nice. Oh, we can keep moving. Okay. They uh, come down in most of these stages, so. That's what I was waiting for. Oh, where are we going? Oh, geez, we're flying away. Oh, geez. Lava reef. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, okay, it's kind of like, uh, cave zone or whatever. Mystical cave. Yeah, there's the guys from, uh, Hilltop Zone. Nice. Oh, like that. Uh-oh. Well, well, we'll have to do it again. Careful of the steam. Careful of the steam going on. Button. Crunch through. Woo, 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 woo. Speedy. 
Oh yeah, we got those little jumps from Hilltop Zone. Love those. Whoops. That's the thing, make a good Sonic game. Frankly, you don't even need to make all these challenging words. Just give me a long level that I can just, just go through at a nice flow. That's all I want. You could literally just line it up like an infinite runner. Have some jumps. Maybe have some stuff to jump over. Like enemies. Nah, I don't need them. I just want to keep on keeping on. Let me through. Oh, geez. One of those guys. Oh, he got those dinos. Those robo dinos. Robots are pretty cool. Dinosaurs, very cool. Robo dinos? Now you talk. That's what I'm here for. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay, I bounced off very safely. I keep forgetting that you can like power that up. I never really did as a kid. All right. Whoa. Dropped. Up and up and up. Bow, bow. There we go. There we. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Sometimes your momentum can be a little nerve wracking. So you're, you're not sure if you're going to be able to make it past an obstacle in time. Why we got these wooden bridges over lava? Seems much short sighted. You agree? Alright, alright. Hit the button. Hit the button. I got it, I think. Yes. Okay. Whoop. Oh, gotta walk on the walkers. Lava walking. Oh, sinking. Careful now. Where are they sinking? Thanks for the help, buds. Hey, what the- Ah. Those are my least favorite kind of enemy, the ones that just kind of spawn out of nowhere and mess up your flow. There we go. Come on, get in there. Get in there. There we go. And over. And over. Just kind of leapfrogging it. Just kind of leapfrogging it. Y'all ever play leapfrog as a kid? Fun. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I was supposed to get off a while ago, weren't I? Uh, blast through the fence. Oh, no. That was a bad idea. No. Ah, oh, dip. Alright, let's try that a little, a little smarter. I figured, I guess that's just an alternate route. Okay, grab that shield. Give myself at least one extra hit, you know? And I think one more. Well, cool, now we gotta go. Now we gotta go. Alright, that'll give me a little more protection at least. Let me through, let me through. Ah! You can still get crushed. That's the big thing, you can still get crushed. Alright, 
like that. We'll do that. Grab the shield. Keep on going. Heck, the extra life. I don't need it. Alright. Now we are invulnerable to everything except crushing. So let's just move quick. Don't worry about the extra life there. Just keep on moving. Extra life is for the bold, not for me. Nothing here but us chickens. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, they're actually sinking, so I better be quick. There's no bottom to that. Come on, which side's open? That one. Let's go. Let's continue forth. Uh, water? I guess I'll take I don't know how helpful they'll be, but... But water is better than plain shield, and any of them are better than nothing. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, jeez. It's got lava. It's got bloody lava. Oh, bruh. That's unfair. Alright, just gotta grab all the dang stuff I can. Should have hung on to some rings. Probably, but oh well. Ah, dip. Ah, game over. That's all right. I got another continue. All right, let's keep on keeping on. Is that really just act one? These acts are getting longer and longer. Although I suppose that makes sense, given how video games tend to work. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa! There we are. Oh, faster, 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 Whoa, watch out for the lava. Yeah, just a little guy. Just a little what I would even have to worry about him. Come on now. There we go. Let these robo dinos hang out in the lava. That can't be good for them. Yeah, they're robots, I guess. They don't hurt it don't hurt. But, you know, can't be good for them. Metal can still get melted. It's not immune to the f flames and the heat. Hello. Real generous with the checkpoints. Let's not go for the bouncy way. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Whoop. Don't get smooshed. That's the big thing. Just don't get smooshed. 
you can get a little whacked. You get your rings back, but don't want to get smooshed. Nope, nope, come on now. There we go. All right. Ah. My eye. It's just a little bit. Just the lid. Just the eyelid. Okay. Alright. We're going through at a decent clip. One of the things I like about Sonic is that every time you play a level, it can always be a little different. You know? You might end up in similar routes, but there's enough alternate routes that you always get a slightly different time. That's nice. Oh wow, we're already at the boss? I guess I didn't have to do that lava bit, huh? Okay. Alright, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh, wait, I don't even need to hit him. I just need to trick him into falling down and lavaing himself. I see. And then I can hit him all I want. There we go. Ah, but I got lava right as he died. That's the worst. Ah, that's what I hate about Chemical Plant Zone in Sonic 2. Was that no matter how No matter how good you did actually fighting the boss, you could still fall into the chemicals and die. Even after you've beat him, just getting out of the level. That always felt so unfair. Oop. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're good. Yeah, try it. Try me. Ah, we got him. Cool. Wasn't as hard this time. Probably because I figured out that you just use the lava to your advantage. Go, 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 go! Into the depths. Ooh. It's icy down here, eh? Oh, but there's still lava. Ice and lava. Ooh. I like that. I always love a, an opposite extremes kind of level, you know? Like uh, Hailfire Peak in Banjo-Tooie. Whoops. Well, that's fine. Wow! Oh, sounds like I just got a package because I was waiting on that N64 wireless controller. It said it was supposed to get here today. So we're gonna we're gonna do this bonus stage real quick, and then I'll probably take a break to go do that and grab some kind of lunch. Uh, we got leftover spaghetti. I'll probably just chow down on that real quick. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. I like making spaghetti because all I do is I, I make a big old batch of spaghetti sauce and then just freeze it. So then if I want to do spaghetti, all I got to do is, you know, make some kind of protein or veggies to put in it, warm up the sauce, and cook the noodles, which only takes like, you know, a few minutes. 
super quick, easy dinner. Really recommend it. Just make a big old pot of spaghetti sauce. And I know people make, you know, canned spaghetti sauce. It's okay. If you like canned spaghetti sauce or jarred spaghetti sauce, whatever, go for it, you know? I'm not gonna tell anybody that it's not good. It's fine. But me personally, I just, I like the sauce I make. It's always, you know, it's always a little different. It's always pretty tasty. All right. Come on now. I'm going fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta get more coins. Give myself a little more time. Ah! I'm running out of coin. Ring, I keep saying coin. I'm more Mario minded, I guess. I was more of a Mario kid. I did play Sega as a kid, but you know, that was when I was much younger. In fact, I don't think I even had like uh, a SNES or anything. I remember loving the look of Mario World and being like, I won't play that, but then I just watched older kids play it and they were better at it than I would have been anyway, so. All worked out. All right, I got it. Got a Chaos Emerald. I'm not planning on necessarily going for them all, but you know, if the opportunity is there, I'll go for it. And of course I get the continues, which are very helpful. All right. Yep, I'm gonna take a break for lunch, but don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial, I'll be our back with more Sonic Mania in just a bit. Okay, okay.
All right, I'm back. Had a healthy lunch of some ice cold spaghetti, which I'm not being sarcastic. I love cold spaghetti, dude. You put it in there, all the flavors like develop in the fridge overnight, and then it's just it's a nice, refreshing, chilly, mm, delicious. Also, yeah, my N64 controller came finally. Hmm. I, yeah, I missed like three restocks. I wanted this so bad ever since they announced it because it's, you know, it's going to be good for Nintendo Switch Online. It's going to be good for some retro games because it's got the classic, uh, this side, classic D-pad, but also it'll be good for, you know, emulation of N64 games. Not like I'd ever do that or anything. Because it's just Bluetooth. I can just connect it to my computer. But anyways, let's get back to a retro-styled game right now. Sonic Mania. Whoops, whoops. Let me up, whoops. You know what, let's, yeah. I'm, I'm good with that. Ooh, watch out for the flame spout. No thanks. Ah, dip. Soundtrack on this one's awesome. Careful, careful! Don't, don't hit the Eggman box. No, I hit the Eggman box. Okay, it was fine because I was already in uh, damage boost mood. Had the invincibility frames. There we go, safe. Harkening back to Marble Hill Zone. From uh, the first game. Stop it. Oh, crab. Watch out for crab. All right. Bar Ooh, bread. Come on, just let me around. Thank you. Jeez Louise. Took so long. Alright, and camera's still working? Yeah, camera's still working. I don't know what happened last time. It just like froze. Uh oh. You guys. Okay, that didn't freeze. I got a call, and because I, um, I have an iPhone. The call will notify me. The call will notify me on my computer as well, and so it like switched over to my main desktop for a second. I thought OBS had crashed. Oh god, if I got a second glitch on my second run, I just have to say this is cursed and I can't do it. But uh no no, we're good. We're good, we're still going. Still streaming? Yep, we're still live. We're still live, baby. Are we live? Remember when Ben Teller did that? That trick. See, the trick with something like that is that you gotta kind of bend the truth. You know, you're not you're not necessarily lying. Like, yeah, you're live, but that's not it's not about being pre-recorded. That's not the trick. Oh, I gotta like nope to the next one. Yeah, what the heck? I didn't go as high that time. What's going on? Yeah, screw it. I don't want to do that part. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Ugh. Yeah, the puzzle platforming in Sonic is uh not exactly a strong suit for the series. But it's acceptable. It's okay. You can survive it. I just, yeah, I find it a bit obnoxious. Ah, damn. Let me get this. Let me get that freaking box. How many times? No! Ah. Where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, 
oh, you can like time it just right. You can really zip. There we go. I need some dang rings. Where are they at? <laughs> oh, oh, wait for it. There we go. Give me some rings, please. Excuse me, could I have a ring? Thank you. Oof. Oh, gotta open her up. Keep moving. I was thinking about, um, this game I loved on DS. Uh, Rocket Slime? Dragon Quest Hero Rocket Slime. Where you're a slime from Dragon Quest. But it's like these fun little, like, isometric, well, not quite isometric, but like top down kind of, like, levels where you pick up stuff and you're just romping around adventuring. And then the stuff you grabbed, you'll use as ammo in a tank section where you're like running around the tank as the little slime and you like gotta drop it into like shoots. It's super fun, but it's super expensive to get a copy. Cause yeah, I guess it's like one of three. It's like the second game in the series, but it's the only one that got a US release. So I don't know. Maybe I'll track them down as emulation or something. Or maybe I'll bite the bullet and actually buy one. Cause they're not that expensive. It's like, you know, 50 to 60 bucks. Standard game price, it's just like for a game that old, it's like, come on, man. I'm gonna rake me over the coals on this one. All right, all right. If that's what you wanna do. Get that bag. Can't deny the hustle. You know, they're not selling it for like $5,000 or something. Although there was someone who was selling all of the Dragon Quest games that were on DS uh, for like five grand, and it's like, okay, that's, that's too much. Hmm. Are we going to the boss? Is this a boss? This is just another area. Whoa. What are we doing? What's up? This looks like ramps. I can't get on them, though. Whoa! Oh, he's riding one of the uh, ladybugs. Haha, <laughs> nice. He's got a crowd. Join his high flying stunts. That's pretty cool. I do love me a robot stunt man. Like, uh, in Mega Man, there's Nitro Man. He's like a, a stunt stunt car robot, but he also runs a stunt robot club. It's great. Oh, if you, okay. So you gotta hit him if you hit his little, his little ladybug, it don't do nothing. Whoa, uh, oh, careful. He's stunting. Tails, help me out. Thank you. Oh, watch out for that guy. Ooh, he was furious. That's all right. Okay. I'm very curious how much more game there is. This is what, like World 6? Classic. Hmm. I've seen that shot memed uh, once or twice. Oh, Metallic Madness Zone. We're looking at the Death Egg, so I'm guessing it's gonna conclude at the Death Egg, and we've taken out like four or five of the, uh, those robot helpers that Eggman has hired. Makes me think of the Brutals in Mario Odyssey. Now they're just kind of hired guns. Although in that case, they're hired uh, party planners. Oh, he's got a spiky back. Whoa! Okay. What? Oh, is this a construction zone? Whoa, careful. Ah, no thanks. 
Why oh, you got a saw on your forehead? You silly gander. You silly goose. I'd say silly swan, but uh, the queen owns the swans. That is actually law in the UK. Swans are the queen's property. Swans are the queen's property and deer are the king's property. Ain't got no king though, so just the swans. Oh. Whoa, I'm in the background. That's fun. I love a game that does that. There's what was that game? Mutant Muds? Where you did that was like the whole idea is that you like dig back and forth and it was like a 3DS game. It was okay. I think that you can get it on Switch now. Oh, and we're back in the foreground. I don't like enemies that you can't hit. Where they damage you no matter what. Like that, I don't know, the inconsistency, inconsistency of it. Ah! Crushing deaths. Crushing deaths as well it feels so unfair. It's like, how was I supposed to stop that? <laughs> Come on, man. That's what I'm saying. I just want to get past this guy. Be careful and watchful. Gotta be slow. Gotta go slow. Gotta be careful not to go too fast. Or break your brittle old bones, Sonic. Are you 90? Actually, I think he's only in. Just hit his 31st anniversary. God. I hate that, man. It feels so unfair. It's like, oh, because I wasn't perfectly over. I was just a couple pixels over. Nope, just done. Just done. You don't even get a second shot with to grab the coins. I just, yeah, I hate. Like, at least falling, it's like, okay, that feels like that was my fault. But it's like, there, it's like, come on. I didn't even have enough time to react to that. And these guys, I don't like this zone, I think is what I'm finding. <clears throat> like the enemies are all super obnoxious. A lot of crushing deaths. These guys. Oh, and the spikes don't disappear. It just stops them dead. Okay. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, that's, like, accurate to what classic retro games were like, which is to say, unfair. Because they were, a lot of them were designed like uh, arcade games, where they were trying to rip as many quarters as they could out of ya. But, gosh, yeah, when that stopped, I, god damn it. Look at that, there's literally, there's nothing you can do about that. It just forces you into a situation. Where, like, the arc, no matter what arc you get in, it screws you over. Like, I definitely jumped over him, but he shot out the guy, like, one split second before I could get over. It's like, dang, man. I don't mind challenge, but I want it to feel like I had some, like, I had the ability to, like, get around it.
Bois bois. Nice. Oh, looks like a boss. <coughs> oh, jeez. Yep. Oh, it's this. This classic boss. Just gotta watch out for where he's at. It's also kind of a crapshoot where he's gonna actually be in. Dip, 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 dip. And of course, it's a crushing death, so if you mess up, you know, you can dodge these, but you can't dodge the crushies. You got such a short window to actually damage him. There we go. Yeah, see, look, he's over there, and I'm just... Just out of luck that time. There we go. Ah, ha, ah, no thanks, no thanks. There we go. Ooh, that second phase is brutal. Oh boy, all right. Metallic Madness. Whoa. Here we go. Yeah, see, look at that. He was even hidden for that one. God, the crushing ones. See to your pants. It sucks. Oh. I got shrunk. I'm a little bitty guy. Look at that, he's just a little fella. Doesn't really change the gameplay that much, but it's cute. Ah, dip. I thought I could. Oh, uh, oh, uh, get that checkpoint. Jump, jump, jump. Okay. Oops, shrunk again. And we're going down. Whoa. Oh, I see. It's giving you a clue as to how they're going to fall. Yeah, sure. Bam. Made it out. Whoa. Let's see, we got regular Sonic and we got small Sonic now, but I want, I want big Sonic. Why can't the Bigify Ray work twice? Make me large Sonic. Let's let me go behind. Yeah, there we go. Like that. Got yeah, double ball Denzel over there. Gotta watch out for that guy. You don't pay his taxes. Oh no, I'm small. This feels like it's not not a good spot to be. Oh jeez. 
Oh, we got classic ones hanging out. Look at that. Little classic guys. Oh, that's Amy. Nice. Oh, oh, don't even try it. Ah, I see. That's a cute little boss. Oh, I thought I got it. Get it. Yeah. All right, we're cranking through. Whoa. What's going on over here? Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, it's the death egg. Or whatever. Make sure Titanic Monarch Zone. It's a little dark. What are you even doing, bud? I don't even want to hit you. Well, do. Oh, there goes that turtle. Yeah, seems like we're getting pretty close to the end here. It's Sonic, you know, it's not a super... They're not super long games in general. Hmm. Guess up? What do I do? Huh. Was it B that hasn't grabbed me? Let me, let me check that. No, I don't know. What do I do here? I guess go back. Is this... No, this isn't the way I got it. over there, is it? Okay, I guess, yeah, you're just supposed to go reverse. Huh. Boing, boing, boing. These bumpers. Yeah, I'm getting very flying battery zone. I'm not, you know, a huge fan of. That's usually how this part, you know, right before the end is usually that kind of style. I get him. Oh, I don't gotta get him. Whoop. Uh, oh, almost. There we go. Ah! What are you doing? Trimony. Here we go! Oh. It wasn't a very long ride, but that was cute. Wow. Wow. Oh, jeez, we're going so fast. Yeah, yeah. Let me get a frickin' ring. Nasty little boy. Whoa. Okay. Ooh. Never dirt. Oh, look at him back there. Being huge. Oh, these are confusing to my brain. 
Just gotta kinda work it till it's an angle that looks good. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Got him. Got him in the back of the head. Oh, please tell me there isn't any crushing stuff here. Okay, good. Aw, oh, man. I wanted that shield. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, my God. Yeah, this is when it really sucks, is when it... It sticks you in places that are just too tiny. Sonic moves fast, and he needs a lot of space to move. So whenever they like jam you in some spot that's just crazy tiny, or where you're gonna get crushed, it's a bit frustrating. All right, all right, play it, play it cool, play it cool, play it cool. Okay. Okay. Ooh, careful. I don't know what happens when you do those, but I don't like it. Oh, finally another checkpoint. Go, 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 go. go. Oh, whoops, actually this way. It's just a slow seesaw situation. Ooh, fall. That's good to know. Oh, God. I really needed another one up. There we go. Ooh. Oh, the spring's saving you right at the last second. Oh my goodness. Ah, you're trying to give me a panic attack? What is this? Rude is what it is. Uh, 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 uh oh. Ah, oh, dip. Fell that far down, huh? Uh. All right, just gotta keep climbing. Okay. Play, it. Ugh, play it careful. This is gonna suck, I can already tell. Oh god, no. I hate crap like this. No, I hate timing puzzles. Ah! God, I hate timing, timed platforming. It's so obnoxious, it's just slow. Just let me go, dude. It's not challenging. To just have all these, like, three different timings I have to keep track of, man. 
Why? Why do they? Why do platformers do this crap? It's not hard. It's just annoying. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do for this. God, oh God, I had it. Thank you. Ah, no, no. Okay. Do not need that one up. I just need out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's just deal with this guy as cleanly as possible. All right, we're fine, we're fine. We are good. Uh-oh, where are we falling? Oh gee, oh, there's a second phase. I didn't realize. Second phase where the gravity's all weird. Tails, no, let me go. I'm trying to hit the fucking enemy. No, stop it, this is not helpful. Here we go. Whew, all right. Oh, we're going up. Can't control this part, so I have to presume we're safe. Yes. Here we go. Wow. That's the thing with Sonic is like so much of it, you're just along for the ride, and then out of nowhere, they're like, actually, now you gotta try and have fine control over what you're doing. It's like, what? That's not what this game has been. What are you doing? Oh, geez. Is this like a maze level? That's another one I don't care for. These classic designs. The maze level. It's like, tries to seem like it's a puzzle, but it's actually just trial and error. Alright. Uh, ba -ba Wow. Okay. Keep it moving. Whoop. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yep, there we go. Whoop. Okay, we're going this way. Whoa. I think, yeah, if I had to summarize Sonic in one word, it'd be, whoa! This, uh, nope, nope. Let's keep on moving. There we go. Oh, what? Yeah, I was one pixel too far to the right. Hate the crushing deaths. They feel so unfair, dude. 
Ugh. Noxious. That's fine. We got more continues. Whoa. Okay. What is going on here? Oh, there we go. I need to. Yep. Get to the other spring. Perfect. Okay. So I gotta get over onto that. Uh, nope. Not dip, dang, Bruce. <sighs> Get me out of here, bud. Once this thing hits his eighty-eight miles per hour, we're gonna see some serious. Whoa. Whoa, there we go. Um, guess this way. What are we doing? It is a maze. Oh, no. So, yeah, it's a maze where we have to figure out the... Mm. Disappointment, man. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Bullet pistons or whatever. The music feels very persona. Or even like Danganronpa. It feels very RPG, sort of. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I think we're going in the right direction. Okay. Hey, whoa, whoa. Ah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we got that right there. And I don't know, it's like... When I play Sonic, I expect to be along for the ride. If you tell me like, oh, you gotta go to specific places, I'm just like, why? Why though? Whoa. Like, I should just be able to go right. Get the heck out of here. Looks like... Down... Here. Uh, nope. Yeah. Okay, there's something. Whoa, we're twisting. Nope. Ah, oh, dude, that sucked. That full on sucked. Oops. Ah, dip. It's just they respawn too. Oh no, they didn't that time. Thankfully. Here we go. Checkpoint. Huh? 
Oh boy, oh boy. I think I feel like I'm making progress. I'm seeing different parts of the level. I just feel like I can't even be sure, you know? Okay. All right. Up and around and up and around. Is that it? Did we make it? Whatever we're doing? Is this correct? Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, I didn't like that at all. Yes, control. Can't even hit him. In his shield, I guess. How's he in this big old baby bouncer? That seems a bit silly. Excuse me. Oh yeah, I have the electric shield, so why am I even worried? Oh geez, watch out for the hands. Okay. okay, this feels very last boss. Oh no, my shield! Yeah. All right, just grab me. Green boy. Oh, geez. He's covered in cat dang razor blades. Pretty dark. Razor blades are no joke, man. Okay, that's more of a survive situation. Gotcha. gotcha. All right. All right. Nice. Nice. Plenty of hits on him. All right, just grab me. Grab tails too. I don't even care. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sure Tails mocked her, but I don't even care. Got him. Got him with no rings left. Get out of here. Oh, geez. We got to get out of here, actually. Hey, Knuckles. Let's rocket car our way out. Go! Get out of there! Go! Oh, we got full-on anime cutscene. We did it. Get that death egg out of here. Nice. Would it take a little over three hours, so my estimate was way high. I guess that includes everybody, including people who, you know, might have taken like seven plus hours. Because it is just an average. Well, that was pretty good. Yeah. 
I feel like, you know, there's probably some extra stuff if you get all the Chaos Emeralds, but we're not going to do that. Not today, but thanks for watching, guys. This is a very wonderful little love letter send-up of those classic Sonic games. So if you like those old Sonic games, this is even better. And if you didn't like them, well, maybe you'll like this one. I think it's pretty cheap now. You know, they got the, the DLC slash the, the plus version, which lets you play as Mighty the Armadillo and uh, Squirrel. I don't remember his name. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a fun time. I, I definitely beat it a lot faster than I expected to. I guess that first time I really was just wasting too much time on the, uh, the bonus stages. That's what I'm realizing with a lot of games is like, they're not as long as I thought. It's just I'm always so focused on extra stuff right from the get-go. And it's like, if I you don't do that, then it works out just fine. So maybe think about that for your own playthroughs. I don't know. Tantalus Media. Looks like we're going to be raiding over to Scruffy V unless they uh, shut down their stream right before I end here. But yeah, we're going to watch through these credits. Of course, you got to respect, full respect to the people who made the game, you know? And there's so much extra content. You could play this so long. There's other, like, modes you can do. I just went with the straightforward story mode. But if you want to play the whole game, there's plenty to do. Yeah, let's just enjoy. Oh, hey, ProZD is live, too. He probably doesn't have... Uh, reads aloud. Let's, uh, follow for now. Ah. <sighs> yeah, good game. Beautiful animation, designs, colors, all that. Thanks for... Thanks for doing that, Atlas. Thanks for doing that, Christian Whitehead. And the the whole crew, man. Y'all did so good. So good. Very, very awesome. And of course, you gotta have QA. Assure that quality. Music freaking slaps. Sega Europe. Product development. That's the end of the song. Not the end of the credits, though. That's all right. We can let that play over as we uh, sign off here. Thanks for watching, everybody. This was a shorter marathon than I'll tend to do, but you know, sometimes that happens. Thanks for watching. If you did, please take the time to follow and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Check out my socials down below. We got Twitter. We got YouTube. We got a YouTube archive channel. We got Discord. We got a games list. Check out all of that stuff down below I got you know my schedule which is subject to change Twitter go follow me on Twitter because whenever I go live about a half hour before I'll tweet it out but yeah I hope to see y'all uh, on Monday for miscellaneous Monday where we're gonna do something weird as a one-off I don't know what right now but you'll see so join me then hope to see you there and hey if no one else has told you this I'll tell you this you're a good kid. All right, let's see who there is to raid over to. Uh, well, just Scruffy V, I already had them queued up. Oh. 
So let them know I sent you. Have a great rest of your weekend. I'll see y'all on Monday. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.